Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I can't even believe I'm finally doing this. Like I did a video talking about my hair, but I never did a video where I actually style it. And it's literally the most requested thing ever. <laughs> so I'm doing it finally. So this is my hair. I'm actually supposed to be getting it cut and colored uh, in two days. So this is my long pixie, I realize. That it's not long but for me this is long so i'm going to be showing you how i style my long pixie and let me know if you want to see how i style my short pixie because it is a little bit different so just a little background my hair is super fine very straight since i have bleached my hair i definitely have a lot of natural volume and texture now so i don't really have to use as many volumizing products which is great actually I don't really use any. So for the most part, what I'm using is just hydration, especially since my hair is bleached. I wanna keep it as healthy as possible. I did style my hair today freshly washed. So I tend to wash and condition only once a week. This may vary depending on like how dirty my hair is. So if my hair is a little bit more dirty, then I might go in with a little bit less of like my leave-in conditioner or hair oil or something like that. All right, so I'm fresh out of the shower. My hair is nice and damp. I'm gonna go ahead and just towel dry it, but I don't wanna dry it too much. I do wanna have like a little bit of moisture left. The first product that I'm gonna be going in with is the Sebastian Trilliant Thermal Protection and Sparkle Complex. And this is just basically going to protect your hair from heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly spritz this all over my hair. I don't wanna drench it, but I do wanna make sure that I'm getting like the whole head. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Liquid Pearl Luminescent Serum. This is from OGX. I love this product. First of all, it smells delicious. It's got these like little pink reflects in it. It's got pearl extract and sea kelp. It's supposed to smooth hair and help reflect light. So to give it like a smooth, silky look that's illuminated. So I take two to three pumps of this, depending on my hair that day. And then I'm gonna go in with a couple drops of the IGK Mixed Feelings Leave-In Blonde Toning Drops. These are a lifesaver if you have platinum hair. So I really don't like using a purple shampoo because it can be super damaging on your hair to be using it all the time. This allows you to control the tone of your hair. Sometimes I want it to be a little more white. Sometimes I want it to be a little bit more just like platinum. Sometimes I want it to be like kind of silvery. So it depends on how many drops. I'll just use like two if I wanna just you know, keep it more platinum and not brassy, especially if I'm using it on freshly washed hair. And I'll use up to like four drops. Four drops will make it a lot more like cool toned, a little silvery. So I'm just gonna mix these in with that product. And then I'm going to lightly go through all of my hair. I like to focus on not my roots, but kind of like mid shaft and up. So where I see sort of a yellow tone particularly. You wanna make sure that you're getting the sides, especially if you're going in with toning drops, you wanna make sure that you're not like neglecting the so your sideburns and then the back of your head because there have been times where I've done like, I focused on the top and then I look later on and my like back is like kind of brassy. All right, and then the final hydrating product that I like to go in with is the Rose Hair and Body Oil by Way. I love this, it smells delicious, it's super nice and lightweight, it's great for fine hair. You don't need a lot of it, I'll take like one to two pumps. What I do with this is I just focus it on the very tips of my hair because we all know if you bleach your hair, the ends are what get really super damaged. I'll just kind of like scrunch it in those areas so that I'm not focusing it anywhere near my root because it will weigh my hair down and it can make it look more greasy. All right, so the first thing I do with my hair dryer, I have a round brush and a hair dryer. I think the round brush is like two inches around, maybe an inch and a half. And then I think I got it at like Target, it's nothing special. And then my hair dryer is, I don't know what brand it is. I'm gonna, I, I'll link it down below. I got it at Ulta. I think it was like maybe 80 bucks. I keep this on the lowest setting. So I'll put it on a low setting on like a low to medium heat, depending on the hair dryer. I'm gonna dry it, but we don't wanna damage it. And then I like to start off by kind of like brushing it all forward, flat in the areas where I just kind of like the general way that I want it to lay. I like to smooth down the back because the volume, the where I want the most volume is like the top and the front basically. And then I'll start going in with my round brush and kind of like pulling, I'll start at the back, the crown of my head, and I'll start kind of like slowly pulling that up with the round brush to create volume. Now, I'll go in one direction, then I'll kind of go like and bring it forward and then I'll start bringing it in other directions because I think doing that creates more volume, creates more natural volume and it allows for your hair to kind of like fall in a nice way. So if the wind blows, it doesn't look crazy. 
Because if you're blowing, blow drying it all in one direction and the wind blows, it kind of looks like one of those, I don't know, you, want, you don't want like a Donald Trump like situation. You know what I mean? You don't want to look like a Lego head with like a helmet on top of your head. So it looks more natural if you go in a lot of different directions. And I just kind of like will gently pull up at the roots because that's where I need the most volume. I like to make sure that I'm laying the sides kind of flat. So I create the majority of the volume on the top and the crown of my head. So I'll do this until I feel like the majority of the hair is like 85 to 90% dry. Then I'll pull my hair dryer back a little bit and just go in with my fingers and kind of like tousle it a little bit, just like pull up at the roots a little, help it kind of like fall into place and just kind of get a feel for like how dry it is because I don't want to blow dry it until it's completely dry because I think that creates more damage. So I like to do it until it's like 95% dry basically. Then I'm gonna take my round brush and I'm just going to brush it all out. Especially when I have clean hair, I like to go in with the R & Co Dry Shampoo Paste. This is something that my, uh, the guy who cuts my hair, Edward, I'm actually gonna link all of their info down below. Um, I get my hair colored by Sarah, Sarah Shears on Instagram and Edward Katana, her boyfriend actually cuts my hair. So I go to this awesome couple, they're so cool. Um, I actually have a video of me going platinum. I'll put it somewhere so you, if you guys haven't seen it, it's so much fun. It's like such a fun video, I loved it. Uh, just going like the process of going from my natural color to platinum. Them. But anyway, Edward told, told me about this and it's great for uh, adding volume, especially for fine hair. So I'll pick up a little bit of that and then work it between my palm. And then I'll pick it up with my fingertips and kind of just like focus it in the areas where I need maybe like a little bit more texture. So I like to do that kind of like at my root, at the front of my head, and then just kind of like in the areas where I feel like maybe I don't have enough volume or enough natural volume, especially when my hair is freshly washed, it tends to be a little bit more silky. And then to finish it off, I love the American Crew Fiber. I think it's like a paste, it's for, it's for men, but it smells so neutral. Like it, it really just kind of smells like a wax. It doesn't have like a very strong scent to it. And this is my favorite product for my hair. Honestly, it's the best wax that I've used. It's a little bit hard to blend out on your hands. So I like to take a little bit and rub it between my palms to get it warmed up. And then I'll move it to like the rest of my hands and then go in with my finger, pick it up with my fingertips and kind of just like use it to piece my hair. Sometimes I'll do it like kind of throughout to add a little bit more texture. Sometimes I'll just focus it in like uh, the front of my bangs just to make it a little bit more PC, but it's just like such a great finishing pomade. I love it. It's matte. It doesn't make your hair look like shiny or anything like that. It doesn't make it crusty. It can still move. That's my favorite one. I've used so many different ones. I get it at Target, I think. All right, guys, and that is how I, that's how I style my pixie. My long pixie, my long pixie. I really hope that this video was helpful helpful for you guys. I'm so sorry that it took me such a long time to finally film it. It was pretty easy and I'm definitely going to, if you want me to want to see it, I will definitely film how I style my short pixie, especially when it's like freshly platinum because it is a little bit different. I don't even think I, typically I don't even use heat. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any products, if you're a pixie person, and uh, especially if you have like fine hair like me, there's a hair on my face and I need to get rid of it. There we go. <laughs> especially if you have fine hair, please let me know what your favorite products are down below. If you have to have platinum hair, how you keep it healthy. It's so important. Cause honestly, I love this and I never want to go back. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. Make sure to like and comment and all that shit. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.